Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Physics of Pedia. In previous lecture, we have discussed about descriptive part of astronomical telescope. In that lecture, we have seen the ray diagram and we have derived a formula for magnification produced by the astronomical telescope in two cases. One is for near point, other one is for far point. So today's lecture, we are going to discuss about problem solving. So Astronomical telescope is one of the important topic in solving the problems, especially in terms of objective point of view. So let us go into the topic. These, these are the two formulas we have derived in the previous lecture, right? So that is for near point. So in this, I'm going to write one more formula, which is length of the tube. What is length of the tube? Length of the tube is nothing but the distance between the two lenses the distance between the objective and eyepiece. So, I will write it here. If an image is formed near point, the distance between the these two lenses will be equals to focal length F0 plus object distance for the eyepiece UE. F0 plus UE for near point F0 plus UE, right? What is UE value? We know it. Therefore, substitute that value. What you will get it? F0 plus UE means FUD by D plus FU. This is the length of the tube. This formula is very useful to us to solve the problems. Keep this point in your mind. When it comes to far point, then what will be the length of the tube? Far point. Far point means what? The final image formed is at infinity distance. Therefore, final image distance is infinity. V E is infinity. Therefore, final magnification produced by the astronomical telescope at infinity distance is equals to minus f0 by f u. This derivation we have done the previous lecture, right? And what about length of the tube now? Now length of the tube, when the image is formed at infinity distance, the final image is formed at infinity distance is equals to Listen carefully. If the final image formed by the eyepiece is at infinity distance, the object must be at focal length of the eyepiece. That means at FE. Right? If the object is at focal length of the eyepiece, then the final image formed will be at infinity. That means now the length of the tube will be equals to focal length of the objective lens plus focal length of the eyepiece. I hope you understand. When the image is from near point, the length of the tube will be F0 plus V. When the image is formed at infinity point, length of the tube will be F0 plus Fe. So let us go into the problems. By using these formulas, we are going to solve the problems. So let us solve this problem. This problem will help you to solve similar kind of problems. Let us look about the question. The length of a telescope is 52 centimeters. That means, answer I'm doing. The length of telescope is 52 centimeters. And its magnification is 25. And its magnification is 25. Final magnification produced is 25. Now the question is for relaxed eyes. For relaxed means the final image is formed at infinity distance. Therefore, length of the tube when the final image is formed at infinity distance is 52 centimeters. And final magnification produced by the telescope is 25. The focal lengths of the objective and eyepieces are so what is the focal length of the object 
V and what is the focal length of I pieces? So this is what the question. Is. So let us calculate by using the formulas what we have derived. We know that the length of the tube when final image formed at infinity is equals to focal length of objective lens plus focal length of eyepiece. Let us consider this as one. And what is the magnification formula? Magnification where final image formed at infinity is equals to f0 by fe. Right? These are the two derivations we have done earlier. So let us substitute these values in 1 and 2. So what do we get it? So in 1, if you substitute 52 centimeters is equals to F0 plus Fe and magnification at infinity distance is 25 is equal to F0 by Fe therefore F0 is equals to 25 Fe substitute F0 value in the equation 3 what do you get it? 52 is equals to 25 Fe plus Fe therefore 52 is equals to 26 Fe Fe is equals to 52 by 26 therefore focal length of eyepiece is equals to 2 cm we got the focal length of the eyepiece so let us calculate the focal length of the object to lens also as we know that f0 is equal to 25 of fe therefore f0 is equals to 25 into 2 focal length of object lens is 50 centimeters i hope you understand this problem what about the equations we have derived by using that only we have solved this problem so let us go into the next problem let us look about another problem a simple telescope consisting of an objective of focal length 60 centimeters so what is the focal length of the objective focal length of the objective is 60 centimeters right and islands of focal length 5 centimeters what is the focal length of islands 5 centimeters is focused on a distant object in such a way that the parallel rays emerge from the islands what it means in such it focused on a distant object in such a way that parallel rays emerge from the islands that means the final image formed by the islands is at infinity distance remember that point the final image is formed at infinity distance now the question is if the object subtends an angle of 2 degrees at the objective what is this angle the angle made by the light rays with respect to objective is alpha whose value is 2 degrees now the question is the angular size of the image is what is the angular size of image we should calculate it so as we have derived formulas magnification produced by the astronomical telescope when the final image is formed at infinity distance is equals to f0 by fp write it as 1 right and second formula we know magnification produced is equal to angle subtended by an image by ang angle subtended by an object right angular width of an image by angular width of an object compare these two what you will get it therefore beta by alpha is equals to f0 by so substitute values what you will get it beta is equals to 
alpha into f0 by fe. Therefore, beta is equals to alpha value is how much? 2 degrees. f0 is how much? 60. fe is how much? 5. 5 ones are 5 twelve are. Therefore, angular width of an image is equals to 24 degrees. This is another set of problems which basically gives on astronomical telescope. So let us go into another problem. Let us look about another problem. The tel a telescope objective has a focal length of 100 centimeters. What is the focal length of an objective lens? Objective lens of focal length is 100 centimeters. When the final image is formed at least distance of distinguishing. Remember this. The final image is formed at least distance of distinguishing means the final image is at D. That means near point. The distance between the lenses is 1 or 5 centimeters, which is nothing but length of the tube, length of the astronomical telescope tube, which is LD is equal to 1 or 5 centimeters, right? Because the final image is formed at a D distance. Calculate the focal length of the eyepiece, what is Fe? and magnifying power of the telescope what is md what is md let us look about as the given focal length of the object to lens length of the lens and we are supposed to calculate the focal length of the eyepiece and magnification power when final image is formed at the least distance of distinguishing right we know length of the tube at near point is equals to focal length of object to lens plus object distance from the eyepiece right this is what I have given in the previous lecture now they given length of the tube how much it is 105 is equals to what is the focal length of the object to lens 100 Plus u. Therefore, object distance from the eyepiece is equals to 1 or 5 minus 100. Therefore, object distance from the eyepiece is equals to 5 centimeters. Right? But for eye lens, for eyepiece or eye lens, object distance will be minus 5 centimeters because it will be in front of the lens this is what the magnitude but when it comes to sign convention we have to apply minus 5 centimeter for eyepiece I am talking about and where is the final image formed by the eyepiece at the least distance of distinguishing which is nothing but D so final image formed is minus D which is equals to minus 25 centimeters what we are supposed to find focal length of eyepiece so apply a lens formula 1 by fe is equals to 1 by ve minus 1 by ue therefore 1 by fe is equals to 1 by ve is how much minus 25 minus or minus plus 5 so what you are going to get 1 by Fe is equals to 25 is the LCM minus 1 plus 5. Therefore, Fe is equals to 25 minus 25 by 4. If you solve this, what do you get it? 4 ones are 6 point sub 2 you will get it approximately 
minus remember and comes to so not minus plus one minus one of plus pi is four correct approximately six point two you will get it now let us come to another formula magnification at least distance what is the magnification at least distance f not by f e into one plus d by so f e by d right so substitute values what do you get it f not value is how much hundred f e value is how much twenty five by four this is the main by into one plus F e is how much? Twenty five by four by d is twenty five. Twenty five twenty five get cancelled. Twenty five ones are twenty five fours are. So what you will get it? Magnification at final at the least distance of distinct vision is equals to four will goes up four into four sixteen into one plus one by four. Therefore, magnification is equal to sixteen into five by four, four ones are four fours are. So final magnification is equals to twenty. I hope you understand how to do problems in astronomical telescope. We have covered almost all kind of methodologies of the questions which basically given on this topic. In first problem. we have done how to calculate focal length of the eyepiece and focal length of the objective lens in the second problem how to calculate the angular width of an image when they given angular width of an object right in third problem we have calculated how to cal we have calculated the focal length of eyepiece as well as magnification produced at the least distances so we have seen a different kind of set of problems on astronomical telescope I think this lecture is useful to you. If you really like these videos, please share to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and touch the bell icon. And by that, you will get my recent updates and notifications.